Hi, I'm Sammy with Bar Under the Stairs, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make my very own peanut butter bourbon recipe. So there's a very popular peanut butter cordial out called Screwball. You may have heard of it. And a lot of people in the bars I've worked at have been obsessed with taking shots of it. I personally think it's syrupy and disgusting, so I came up with an alternative recipe using real peanuts, real sugar, and some really good bourbon. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to make that right now. So what you'll need to make this is either a food processor, an immersion blender, uh, a regular blender, just something that can really find great all of the peanuts. You're also going to need a cheesecloth and a strainer and a container at the end to go ahead and put that in the fridge and keep it. All right, so let's start off with the ingredients. I'm going to use my Vitamix blender today. And I'm going to start off with 3 fourths cup of lightly salted shelled peanuts. There we go, 3 fourths of a cup, right into the blender. This is kind of like making your own peanut butter uh, and then just adding a bunch of bourbon to it. Next, I'm going to add 3 fourths cup of refined white sugar. <laughs> now I'm going to take some brown sugar, light brown sugar, dark brown sugar, it doesn't really matter, and I'm going to pour a fourth of a cup. <laughs> After that chunk, I'm going to grab 100% maple syrup. I'm going to take 3 fourths of a cup. Now I'm going to add 4 dashes of ground nutmeg. You can use a store-bought ground nutmeg. You can get your own whole nutmeg and grind it in. It just adds a little something something. All right, and we're also going to do some vanilla extract. I used to use real vanilla bean when I made this, but the cost and just the tediousness of scraping vanilla beans out really isn't adding that much, I found. So it's just as good to just add a couple drops, Oop, new bottle, add a couple drops of vanilla extract. Now I'm going to put the lid on and put it on my blender stand and give it a quick mix. Okay, now that we have our peanut butter base, we're going to grab our bourbon. So I've tried a few bourbons in the past, I've found that 40% alcohol by volume is pretty much where you want to go. You don't want to go any higher. The end results are going to be too hot, too alcoholically spicy to take a shot of. So we're just going to do some good old Jim Beam. You need 750 milliliters. And that's exactly what I have right here. So I'm just going to pour it on it. Now that we've blended all of our ingredients together, we're going to get a large bowl, a strainer, this is a big fine mesh strainer, and I'm going to take a cheesecloth, I've used this cheesecloth to do this many times before, and double layer it over the bowl. And we're just going to go ahead and strain out all the fine pieces in our mixture. <laughs> We want this baby nice and smooth.
So the strain on this can be kind of difficult. So you actually, the reason I use cheesecloth is because you kind of need to use it as cheesecloth. So you gotta kind of group together the top and literally whew, hold it up and start from the top and then just start pushing in on down. These little tiny bits of peanut kind of linger at the bottom and keep it from like entirely straining. So you just kind of got to help it along just like this. Right, bring that out completely. And now we have a huge bowl of peanut butter bourbon. So this is technically fat washing. So we're washing the fat of the nuts through the alcohol, which is a common process. Um, I'm just doing it with a ton of sugar. So if you want to see, we have completely smoothed out and separated all the leftover peanuts from the solution. So this is super creamy, liquidy, and all we're going to need to do is just chill this and then I can show you my fluffer nutter shot. It might be easy for you just to grab a funnel and put it right back into the bourbon bottle that you used. All right, so I've left my peanut butter bourbon in the fridge for a couple days to chill, and it should last for about 30 days, to be honest, in the fridge. Um, so now I'm just gonna teach you how to make my fluffernutter shot. This is a shot that I sold at one of the distilleries I worked at. So what you're gonna need is a marshmallow and some way to roast it. Now it's gonna separate in the fridge, so you just gotta give it a good shake and it'll all combine back together. Right? Shot glass. Nice pour. Okay. So I have a toasted marshmallow and my peanut butter bourbon. Bottoms up. And that's the fluffer nutter shot. <laughs> that is awesome. That is an adult fluffer nutter for you. <laughs> you have smooth peanut butter, bourbon esque gulp, and then you have this like burnt sugar right after. It is awesome. I think this would be a great thing to do before having like a Christmas party or even in the summertime. Any time of the year, if you're having people over and you make a bunch of peanut butter bourbon and you have like a bonfire or something, roast some marshmallows, pour the bourbon around, woo, it'll get everybody uh, cracking up because it really does taste like a fluffer nutter with a little bit of a burnt taste, a little bit of a bourbon taste, and it's super fun. Peanut butter bourbon is so good. It's so smooth, it's so creamy. 
It's nice and spicy too. Like you get all those great like cinnamony bourbon flavors. Like Jim Beam's just really smooth bourbon anyways. But then like you wash it with that, with like the peanut butter and the maple syrup and it just makes it taste somehow more bourbon-y, but in a really easy to drink way. I mean like toasted marshmallows and bourbon, like I could eat that like all the time. I love that, it's so good. You actually get a lot of, um, from a lot of Kentucky bourbons, there's marshmallow notes that come through, like burnt marshmallow notes and marshmallow notes. I get there in, in uh, McNair's Sour Mash Toasted Barrel. Because the high char levels kind of mimic. Yeah. Like the caramelization in the wood mimics the caramelization in the sugar. Yes, cool. it's a dream. It's awesome. <laughs> this is my favorite shot. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> so good. I would love ideally for like bars to just start using this recipe everywhere. So instead of screwball, there was just like this natural, awesome peanut butter bourbon shot you could just readily get. Yeah, let me show much easier. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> watch me make peanut butter bourbon and the fluffer nutter shot that goes with it and you can check out all of our other videos we also have a website barundersthestairs.com instagram barundersthestairs hit us up let us know what you like to see and we'll try to make some videos that you like